Walker with the throw to Berry. Back to Walker. Curled in. Wallace was there. Oh, what a start. And Walker's cross for Wallace, who headed that in at the near post in the second minute. Well, the travelling fans from the northeast couldn't have wished for a better start. And back to Stevens. And on by Reed to Sharp. And here's Bracewell to Sheedy. Away by Elliott. Bracewell. Low in. And Gray's there. No. Bracewell drove it across. Sharp lunged first. Gray went in second. The ball went wide. Stevens. It's a patient build up this by Everton. Ratcliffe. Good drive by Kevin Ratcliffe, who was a noted goal scorer. Indeed, he's only ever got one in some 190 first team games. Here's Bailey. And now it's Bracewell. And Sharp. And Reed. Stevens is square. Stevens with a firm drive. Turned round by the angle. <laughs> Flicked on and a chance for Mountfield and it was scrambled away. Derek Mountfield's header and look at the break with Wallace. He's got Walker on the far side but he's offside. Much to the relief of Everton, who would have gone two down there, but for the flag. So, one minute, it was Mountfield with a header at the other end, which was scrambled away by Sunderland, and with Mountfield stranded, they then launched a counter-attack, and Wallace played the ball in for Walker, who was unhappy to see the linesman flagging for offside. Barry blocked the attempted pass, and found Wallace. Bracewell, on again for Reed. Well played. Reed's cross, Gray! What a fantastic goal! Beautiful goal. 34 minutes gone, and Everton produced one right out of the textbook. Bracewell fed Reed on the right, and Reed's approach work there was sheer class. The cross that came in was low and inviting, and Andy Gray is the person to throw himself at those and score with a diving header. Sharp is up with Chisholm, here's Bracewell. Goes back again to Stephen. Gray's there again! Oh, I say! Walker's closing in, and Mountfield, Walker, and Stevens off the line. Brilliant clearance, he's injured, but it saved the goal, there's no question about that. Steven away from Pickering. Yes! Another superb... 53 minutes gone, and Everton are 3-1 up. Bracewell, with that pass, picked out Stephen. He did his job on the ball and finished in explosive fashion. Yes. Oh, goodness me, nearly got that away to Reed. 
Bracewell, and they're in trouble, Sunderland. Gray to Sheedy. Off the defender, and in. Gordon Chisholm trying to stop Graham Sharp. And I think it's the man that put through his own goal on the day of the Milk Cup final, Gordon Chisholm. Well, that was bad luck, really, although Everton had Sunderland on the run from the moment they won the ball in midfield, and Gray found Sheedy. The cross was intended for Sharp, but it looked to me as if Chisholm, trying to cut it out, put the ball into his own net. ...of Cook. Oh, that's some ball to Gray. And Sharp is free. Oh, would have been offside, I think, anyway. Stephen. Good effort! Oh! It's a great shot, but what a good pass from left-back by John Bailey. Raking ball right across the pitch to Andy Gray on the far side. Stevens And Sharp with the header back in, and Gray looking for his hat-trick. This time, no power in the header. Turner able to drop on it. And here's Pickering playing more in the attack now. Berries forward, so is Walker here, only just offside, I would think, there. Flag went up. And Walker disappointed for the second time in the match by an offside decision. Nick Pickering made it possible. He's had quite a good half coming forward. They're looking more and more like champions. As they go into a week with two cup semi-finals, Everton take three points here to confirm their position as championship leaders. A tasteful display of poise and thrust by Trevor Stephen, culminating in his goal. The fourth was Everton's 100th of the season in all competitions, and indeed, they are now unbeaten in all competitions in 19 matches.